Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Firewatch. Right now it's just a black screen, but one moment and we will be beautifully engulfed in this artificial nature. So last time things went down, the campsite of the two girls that were skinny dipping was hey, mauled Henry. by something. Yeah. Bigfoot? Um, what do you look like? Oh, please. Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. I know you see me with your spotter scope over there. What do I look like? Well, I am one sexy ass man. Uh, Tom Cruise? This isn't that hard. I could be Tom Cruise's good looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. How dare you? It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Get her. <laughs> oh my God, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. Okay, you calm shorts, down. Then what do you normally like to wear? Well, I'm part of a nudist colony, so uh, my birthday suit. Oh, here we go. My tuxedo as I sip on champagne. Where's the caviar? <laughs> Tuxedos as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so shit. Indeed. It is the peak of high society. Mm, good to know, Dale, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? You are a freak. Uh, hmm. She is very strange, okay? He has a thick beard. His nose was broken. Uh, you know what? Let's go with the thick beard. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right. Perfect. He wants to be Santa Claus. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... Don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. <laughs> your eyes. Tell me. She's so weird! Okay, really? Let's go with, uh, happy. Your eyes can look happy, right? Like, mine looks sad. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. Mm, no problem. Get what you need? Absolutely. Just trying to see if there's any bears down here. Again, the girls that were skinny dipping from before when I ruined their boombox, they tried to retaliate by doing this, which I did not think they were capable of that. And then we found their campsite up on top of a rock and it looked like it was mauled by a bear. So there's something definitely loose down there in the forest. Maybe it's Bigfoot. Maybe it's a man that has a, a, an issue with people camping. I'm not quite sure. Either way, it's dangerous. Also, if she can only tell I'm a white guy in shorts, then how is she able to even draw me? <laughs> You're gonna have to be inventing a lot of my features. Okay, so uh, do we have any objective? We still haven't patched up the broken window. I need boards, okay? Actually, hold up, can I just go outside and board it up? I can't get over how damn beautiful this game is. It is so gorgeous. I love the art style. Okay, um, let's see now. Do we have anything over here? Any boards? Nope. Well, I'm bored of trying to find boards. Uh, uh, uh. If only I could put on a tuxedo. Not that I could actually see it, you understand, but I think it'd be kind of badass being a guy in a tower, watching for fires, wearing a tuxedo, sipping on champagne and eating caviar. I mean, seriously, that is like the perfect combination. Is it though? I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, I could have sworn I saw boards over here. No, just a pile of wood. Well then. Come on, you got this, hop over. <sighs> boards, if you were boards, where would you be? Oh, good morning, Forest Burns. Have you buried anyone alive? Well, yes I have, beastie. It was so much fun. Oh, cool. Oh, here we go. I, I, I knew I saw something. All right, uh, get a couple more boards. All right, well, look at that. They're conveniently placed all around. Fantastic. How did I, did I really miss these? <laughs> They're right in front of my face. I haven't had any sleep in a while, as you can probably tell, so. Excuse me, Mr. Forrest Burns, I need to borrow that. Thank you so much. Any more? Any more at all? What's this? Uh, cistern. Okay, it's not what I was looking for. Maybe, no, that's it, okay. Well, maybe I have enough. 
Let's go climb up the stairs. If only they could have added an elevator and the internet, which has yet to be invented, I think. <laughs> My life would be so much better. I mean, even though I'm enjoying the view here, in real life, I feel like I would be very bored very quickly. You could always read books, but I mean, what fun is that? That's a lot of effort. Not a single nail, he's just pounding it in place. <laughs> like seriously, no nails. Wow. I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Really? Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. <laughs> I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Oh, I have. I've thoroughly thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. <laughs> Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Hmm. Could I not rearrange my setup? Oh, day nine. Okay, wow, we really jumped. Could we just rearrange our setup so we're looking down towards, well, rather up towards Delilah? There's a little romance sparking Hello, here. Hello, Henry. Oh. Having a nice afternoon? Indeed I am. In fact, I want to take a freaking picture, man. It's so beautiful. Look at that. All right. Um, yeah, great. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Oh. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Oh no! Well, that's not good. Uh... I'm happy to be questioned. I didn't do anything. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I'd never even got very close to them. Well, uh... What do you mean, well? One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Yes, yes. We have never, ever encountered these two girls. Know nothing about it. Um, yeah, don't. Yeah, don't. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Mm, thank you. I will enjoy the sunset here in the rocks. Day 15. Okay, wow, we are plowing through these days. So they're actually missing. Henry. Henry, wake up. Uh oh. Maybe they've been found. They're dead, right? They were mauled by a bear. Or worse. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Okay, can you, like, ask me politely? No? That's not a thing here? Okay. What do you want? Dumb idiot. Uh, hi? Hi, Jules. Jules! Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. What is Can happening here? Time? Okay. <laughs> well, they've become best friends. Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Hmm, I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't see your lights on. <sighs> Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. That did not just happen. Why did I think that was Delilah? I was like, wait a minute, hold up. What, th their romance has exploded out of nowhere. Give your boy a break. I haven't had any sleep. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. 
There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. Really? She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> okay. Can we just appreciate the fact that I really thought back there that was Delilah? So, like... Two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. I was just about to ask we about sleeping, this. sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Mmm, not so much. Um, I am. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy. Javier. Ugh, he's incredible. Caring. Sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and... I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And, <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. Oof. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. <laughs> so, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. I kind of guessed that. I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. No, I didn't fuck up. I'm just running away from reality. There's a huge difference. Also, I have no idea where the hell I'm going. I'm supposed to go north, but all I see is broken ankles this way. I still don't understand exactly why they're so open about their feelings. I'm telling you, this is a secretive camp for therapy. And uh, unfortunately, my man here just doesn't know what he's gotten himself into. Delilah doesn't have a broken heart. She's a trained expert, a, uh, a therapist. And uh, she's here just trying to help people with their problems. Poor Henry has no idea. He thinks he's just here being a fire watcher. Okay, seriously, how the hell do I get down here? Hike north to retrieve supplies. All right. Uh, there's the fence. Okay, I can't go that way. Oh, supply drop. I am going in the wrong direction. Well, this is north, right? Yes. The only question is, how the hell do I get there? I see a path this way. Oh, I am so stupid. Maybe I can climb this. Hmm. So poor Henry is talking in his sleep. And Delilah is just listening in. Seems like a trustworthy relationship we're building here. This game is very interesting. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Or really even what the point of the game is. Maybe there's going to be some insane twist at the end. All I know is those two girls disappearing does not bode well for my man. I mean, <laughs> he was the last one to see them. Or rather, was not the last one to see them. And they're now missing. Honestly, they kind of deserve whatever fate has befallen them. I mean, come on. They were shooting fireworks off in the forest. They're about to burn this down. If uh, a bear mauled them or a weird, creepy hiker decided to snatch them up, that's on them. You need to be out here with uh, parental supervision or at least have a gun or an ax or something, which honestly, Henry should accept my advice because he has nothing to defend himself other than his thick ankles, which is not gonna get him very far. All right, let's, uh, let's double time, get to this supply drop. Hopefully we get some granola bars. That's all I'm saying. Oh man, this game is so pretty. Honestly, I could probably stop and take pictures of every aspect of this game, every different location, but <laughs> I have a feeling there's uh, gonna be a very useful time for when I can actually use my camera. Like for example, before when we found the uh, torn apart campsite. All right, we found the supplies. Found the supplies. Oh good, uh, enjoy. I shall indeed. Whatever happens to be in here. I'm guessing it's all useless items. Probably not a single gun. <laughs> Now, is the combination still pathetically easy to crack? Yes, it is. Okay. Ooh. All right. What do we have here? 
obviously I'm at two forks, right? I think so, right? Yes, two fork. Uh, or rather two forks. There's two forks. Okay. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Oh, man. I really, really wanted to take the other supplies, too. Day 64. All right. Oh! You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Really? And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? <laughs> Shit, don't mind if I do. The big fire, that is so obvious and boring. The flapjack so, fire. <laughs> no ideas, huh? G give your boy a minute here, this is a big decision. Come on, there's gotta be something creative in that brain of yours. Oh, trust me there is, but um, I obviously can't name it that. I guess you're in one of your quiet moods. Shh. Uh, maybe we call it the flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did, it's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. Yeah, probably. <laughs> wow, so... So there's this creek down the hill, and, um... You know what my favorite thing to do is... Skinny dipping, right? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. Hmm, clearly, because you're all alcoholics. Um, I would if I was with you. Oh, let's make the move. If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yes, I definitely sense some romance happening here. Yeah. Man, that thing could rage on Watch all summer? I would not be one to, I would not want to be near something like that all summer long. Uh, what did she say? Sure you are. I am. I don't know what that means. It doesn't matter. I get it. And with Julia and everything, you probably don't want to be here. I don't know if that's true. <sighs> Forget I said anything. I I just meant I like that you're here. Why don't we both just go watch this fire and try to imagine all the old dead things that's burning away? Sure, why not? That's a romantic way of looking at a fire, I suppose. <laughs> Definitely a little romance happening You're going here. Fishing mm -hmm. without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. Poacher? That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Really? Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. <laughs> Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. You know, it's sort of like they're uh, best friends on the internet. You know, people that meet playing video games online. They've never actually seen each other in real life. Or their face, for that matter. But still, they've got a friendship blossoming. This is the age of the internet before the internet. Only it was on walkie-talkies and not as much fun. But what do we have here? Clipboard. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. Well, it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. What do we have here? Looks very official. What the... Well, PD uh, Station. It's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. 
Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Oh, that is so creepy! Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Oh! Henry, I'm worried. You're worried? I'm the one that's going to be you suspected for murder. Eat any mushrooms, <laughs> did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Okay, I don't think Sometimes mushrooms is his problem. Know. Just saying. Okay, buckaroo. Oh god, I don't know why I just called you that. You're taking this remarkably well, considering someone's been eavesdropping in our on our conversations, writing everything down. Hmm. Oh, my man, they definitely suspect you of murder. The government is hiding in the bushes watching your every move. He probably should not have tried to intimidate the two girls that were skinny dipping in the lake. Now they probably suspect him of murder. Locate strange noise towards canyon. All right. Sounds like puppies. Is that possible? Let me just go and put this away. Hello? Is there anything out here that's adorable and cute? that doesn't have sharp teeth, that wants to bite my face off? It's gotta be beavers or something. Then again, I have no idea what beavers would sound like. Dude, this is so intriguing. Who in the hell was eavesdropping and writing everything down? That is terrifying. Uh, oh, toward Canyon. I think I forgot how to read. Definitely. Okay. Oh, hold up. A radio. Maybe this is what they were using to listen in. Oh! Oh, he got knocked out! Who? Henry? Are you there? K kind of? I may have a mild concussion. What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Twice! Or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. Wapiti. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what, what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. No, I, I'm pretty sure I saw what I saw. Unless it was the mushrooms that I haven't had. <laughs> this just... Oh, this just seems like a, like a misunderstanding or something. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were, so... What's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Yeah, big time. Which is actually, again, terrifying. Um... What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm going to call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Yes, I, again, pointing out the obvious. I'll try and hike safe until someone jumps out and karate chops me over the back of the head. Whoppity. Why did I think that was whoopity? <laughs> I can't read. Okay. This is getting spicy. I was not expecting this type of a twist. I thought this was a nice, cool, serene story about a poor man that was losing his wife and I guess was sparking up a relationship with Delilah across the way, but things are starting to get quite intense. Ron. 
Got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Not Wapiti. I, I want to say Wapiti for some reason. I'm not sure why. Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Like, is it hung up? Uh, okay. Interesting. Not really sure why we're finding all these random notes. University of Eastern Colorado. Let's go on and update my map. Hmm. Who would have thought trying to be a guy out in the forest watching for fires could be so hazardous to your health? Besides the obvious part about levitating notes and forest fires, there seems to be someone out here, a deviant on the run, assaulting hikers, tearing up tents for no reason. What in the hell is that? Seems almost kind of magical. It's like snow, but only not. Do you know, believe it or not, and I have no idea why I know this little bit of information, but um, in the early days of Hollywood, they used to simulate artificial snow using none other than asbestos. Yes, I know, it's sad. You guys know what that is, right? Caused lots of problems, right? They used that as artificial snow back in the day. I don't know why I know that, but I do. And there's something out here that sounds so damn cute. But I can't see it, it's driving me nuts. I feel like it's a cute beaver or something. Or maybe a puppy, or a duck, I have no idea. Okay, uh, let's see now, how can I get here? Ex explore Wapiti, not Wapiti, Meadow. Okay, where am I? There's Jonesy Lake, there's Five Mile Creek, uh, and there's Wapiti Station. Okay, I think I may have taken the wrong turn somewhere. Yes, I did, in fact. She said go north, which I've done. Yeah, I definitely hear ducks. Lucky thing for you, I don't have my shotgun, otherwise you'd be dinner. Hmm. All right, hold up. Give your boy a second. I'm not so good with navigating the, 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 the map. I Listen, tr truly, it's a lot of wind. If uh, I tried to do this in real life, I would, again, be lost and probably die of starvation. It would take a while, but it would happen. Actually, hold up. Maybe I don't have to cut. I think I know exactly where I'm going. Stand by. And look at this. He's only been out here for, what, 90 days? And he's already athletic. Not slim, but athletic. Someone tried to balance a rock on there? What the hell? All right, let's see. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. We are almost there. Okay. Should not have doubted myself. I knew how to get there. Although I must admit, in real life, I'd be really quite lost without GPS. And there's the fence. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. What the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's <laughs> only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Okay, I was about to say, there is no way that was going to work. Uh, I can't get in. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. <sighs> Shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Hmm. If you say so. Okay. Uh, controlled burn. Ruby River. Uh, where in the hell? Look for controlled burn south of Ruby River. That is such... Oh my god, that is a very far hike. Damn. Well then, okay. I guess I have quite the walk ahead of me. This is all very, very suspicious. Who knows what's happening on the other side of that gate? Well, we're about to, because obviously we're going to get in here. See, I don't need to be a firefighter to get in here. All I really need is just an axe, which I could easily obtain, or a shotgun, or bolt cutters. But no, I'm just a normal, fat, white guy with shorts on, as Delilah so beautifully put. If I had any sense of adventure, any type of testosterone in my system, I'd go over there and just hop the fence. But no. Unfortunately, we have to do things the conventional boring way. <laughs> Even though I'm sure at the end of all of this, oh my, what the hell? 
Uh, chop down. I can actually chop the tree down? Well, maybe there's an axe around here after all. Um, that'd be quite the twist. Imagine if there actually is an axe around here and I could find it. But instead, I go all the way around the long way. I don't see an axe, though. Hmm. Either way. Um, yeah. All right, well, I'll be right back. This is going to take forever. <laughs> hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Really? So it's only happening to me. Am I in the Twilight Zone? Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. Are you sure? All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Yeah, wh wh what? Uh, oh! Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No. I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. I mean, clearly someone was listening to what you guys were saying on both ends. The only way that's gonna happen is if they're intercepting your transmissions. It just makes sense. She's acting a little too cool and calm about this. She's up to no good. I'm gonna suspect her simply because I'm a suspicious type of guy, and she's the only person I know around here that's acting a little too upbeat. I mean, honestly, who can be this upbeat working a job that's so mind-numbingly boring? Also, this place is very suspicious. There's bodies in there. In fact, I guarantee we'll find both the girls that were hiking, skinny dipping, in here somewhere dead. Calling it now. 100%. <laughs> Probably not. All right, then. Let's just keep going. Let's go find the people doing the controlled burn and try and ask for their help. It is rather odd, though, that all of this is only happening to Henry. No one else. Hmm. And I'm not sure how someone would be... I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that... If anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian... Just how scared he would have been. I mean, I'm pretty scared. <laughs> uh, oh, wow, that would be a cold, morbid one to choose right there. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, maybe he'd actually enjoy it. You know, spies, taking notes, walkie-talkies. whole thing might actually be fun if you're too young to realize how creepy it oh, is. it's a normal answer. That's one way of looking at it. He's fine, P. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Hmm, for sure. You guys might want to change your radio frequency. They're probably on, like, channel 1. <laughs> Go to channel 99. Or, like, 43.4, if that's even possible. Uh, oh, here we go. Let's climb up this way. Ooh, it's getting blustery up here. Careful not to fly off the edge, buddy boy. What am I saying? He's heavy. He's a thick boy. He's well-grounded. Okay, am I going the right way? Yes. Definitely have quite a lot of trail to cover, but uh honestly it's nothing for Henry. He lives purely off a diet of whiskey and granola bars. He is built to be in the wild. In fact, the reason there's no bears around here is because he killed them all. True story. And up we go. Look at that speed. He might actually be part bear. I mean, it's one thing to be skinny and do this type of climbing, but he is... He's a hefty boy. He's chunky, and he can still move. There's our lovely watchtower. The flapjack fire just beyond. <laughs> Blazing in the distance. And, of course, we can't forget about our friendly watchman here. He's the guard of my tower. Forrest Burns! Hello, Forrest Burns. Are you the one doing all these terrible things? 
Yes! Yes, I am! In fact, I'm gonna follow you! Oh, well, cool. All right, then. Psych! Keep your ass over here. If you see anyone, hit them over the back of the head with a shovel and then bury their ass alive. He's taking a nap. That's not what you're supposed to do. Come on, Forest Burns. I need you up here guarding the watchtower because if this tower is somehow compromised, the whole mission goes south. So it's up to you to stop the commies. No, <laughs> it's up to you to protect everything that I hold dear by not looking at me. Oh my God, you are rude. There we go. That is fantastic. Next time someone comes up here in the dead of night and they see him, they'll have a heart attack, fall off the edge, and break every bone in their body, which they deserve. All right, uh, I think we should almost be there, right? A little ways to go. Just south. So this shouldn't be too difficult. Which way is south? Uh, this way, okay. By now, honestly, Henry should be able to just feel out the forest and feel the magnetic pull of the earth and know which way to go. Should be intuitive. Like when birds migrate, they just know which way to go. Come on, Henry. Evolution's left you behind, my man. Oh man, it's so beautiful. That is a big fire. Okay, uh, controlled burns. Oh, that is the controlled burn, of course. Oh, wait a minute, oh. Okay, I was kind of wondering why they weren't panicking at the beginning of this episode when, um, when they were looking at the fire. It's not an out of control fire, it's a controlled fire. That makes so much more sense now. <laughs> why did I not realize that? Let's open this up. Please, I need more granola bars. Or no, something even more unhealthy than granola bars. Trail mix with the M&Ms. Whenever my family used to get trail mix back in the day when I was a kid, I would always pick the M&Ms out. True story. Toilet paper. <gasps> Little do they know in the future, there'll be this thing called the coronavirus and this will become a commodity. No, it'll become a currency. What do we have here? Terminal seven. Ooh. Okay, that looks like a juicy book. But I'm looking for something a little bit more sensual and romantic. Yeah, conspiracy theory book. Nope, that is not my taste at all. What do we have here? Nope, looks very boring and philosophical. I'm just gonna throw it on the ground. One chance to die. Okay, no, that is not for me at all. Well, unfortunately, we do not have any granola bars, so there is no reason for me to be here, but I will update my map. Oh, and we have another note. Okay. Actually, can I? Oh, I can, hold up. Who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance that they had anything to do with those girls disappearing? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting looted. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. I suppose so. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. All right, what do we have here? Ron, the music in the background makes this so much more emotional. Really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time I'd prefer to keep things pinned to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. Damn, this guy's frigid cold. Uh, I've been sitting at the I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her. But I'm a quarter of the way through this bottle of f fives. I think Ugh, must be liquor. Instead, miss you, Dave. All right, well, they definitely have a bromance going on. Let's go investigate. Oh, firefighters! Your boy needs some help. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see, the scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Rex snowmobiles, what the hell are they doing here? Hey, I found a pair of old totaled snowmobiles out here. It looks like someone stripped them of a bunch of parts. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. 
Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Really? And why is that? <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> I wouldn't want it in my den, though, just saying. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. That's it? Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Oh, wow. Look at this. That is so cool. Gives me sort of like a... Wild West cowboy vibe in Texas somewhere. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware of weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. All right, well, they definitely have a very specific way of looking at things. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Is it though? Is that a good plan? I feel like a better plan would be having a shotgun. Just saying. Actually, can I just drop down here? Uh, no, he can't cross or drop down for that matter. Okay. Uh, perhaps we can go this way. I seriously doubt firefighters are gonna wanna help us break into a chained off part of the, the park, right? Like what, what would be our excuse for doing that? Hey, you know, this section of the park is chained off for some reason. Would you kindly cut the fence and let us in? Yeah, we're firefighters, but we'll definitely do that. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. And who decided to punch my man Henry in the back of the head and why? telling you there's some suspicious stuff happening here who knows maybe they're trying to cover up some insane experiments human experimentation found a couple of girls at the lake and they're like we're gonna just snatch them up and use them for some weird experiment definitely not what's happening here it's probably gonna be very anticlimactic um well shit i have no idea where i'm supposed to go is that a cave i can go in no it is not can i climb anything with his ankles? Probably not. Find firefighters in old scout camp past controlled burn. Well, I mean, the scout camp is south. I am going south, right? Uh, yes I am. Okay, so it has to be down this way. But I don't see a way to really cross. I'm still looking for a way across the ravine. Well, there must be one. I mean, the firefighters made it from that camp to Ruby River. Mmm, how astute of you. Well, unfortunately, I've been walking around in circles and I can't figure out how to get there. We need to go to the, uh, the, 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 the scout camp, but unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not Bear Grylls. I'm not very astute at surviving out in the wilderness. Oh, wait, hold up. That is a very long drop. Oh, but that is really cool. Check it out. All right, all right. It's a totem pole. And I'm at the very bottom of the totem pole. Look at that. Oh, firefighters, you! I need help, specifically with things that are very illegal and questionable. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. Such as? He, he wasn't a scout or a weedle or whatever. <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. <laughs> what the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Hmm. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weedle do it. Okay, then. Well, at least you're honest. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Hmm. Well, this place is really interesting. Also very run down. You can tell no one takes care of this place. Oh, we have a bear trap. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. 
That's messed up. <laughs> Ye. Yeah, no, miss me with that. I do not want to encounter a bear unless I have a bazooka. All right, all right. Well, this place does not get much action at all. And it would seem as though the firefighters are gone. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hmm. Man, they let out of here quick. Oh, it's a memo. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's like a memo from their boss. Hmm. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, <laughs> let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Well, I mean, when it comes to research, probably something very boring. Um, I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. I think they're studying me. Clearly. Because of what happened to you before. Everything with Julia. Yeah. Maybe they're studying the effects of something like that. Grief. Ho -ho! You have no other choice but to be alone with your thoughts. So they set up an entire site just for you? Maybe. Oh, I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Oh, trust me, I'm ready. If someone tries to come up and karate chop me over the back of the neck, they're gonna get a nasty surprise. A fire axe <laughs> right into their Adam's apple. <laughs> wow, that would be quite the twist. Imagine if they actually did set all of this up just to spy on Henry. What is this? Oh, another missing persons flyer. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? Why? You don't think you're gonna end up on a milk carton, do you? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly, I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their head. Hmm. And then there are those who just want to be left alone. He was the last. Sounds like you guys and are made for I'm each other. The former, aren't I? Well, I didn't want to say anything. Hmm. No, it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. <laughs> oh, come on. And uh, you'll never hear from me again. Finally, peace and quiet. Woohoo! Mmm, you couldn't shut up if it wasn't for me. So, uh, yeah, clearly you're full of it. Uh, PTSD? So. Isn't your radio supposed to be in the river? I couldn't bring myself to do it. Well, I guess I'm stuck with you then. Yeah. So, did you mention something about Ned Goodwin having PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army, he was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Well, excuse me for trying to do my damn job! Like how she pretends as though she's annoyed by people that want to talk a lot. Oh, please. I'm the best thing to ever happen to you. Well, not me, but Henry, obviously. He's a good listener, and he responds sarcastically, which obviously, obviously, I can't even speak, my goodness. I'm not so good with speaking, but obviously Henry, on the other hand, he is. He just kind of fans the flames. She just keeps talking and talking and talking about everything. Okay, now how the hell am I going to get on the other side? Oh, hold up. We have a long drop here. And I can't call it in. Lost my chance. All right. Get, oh, wait. Can I not drop? Oh, come on. Seriously, Henry? 
you can get slapped in the back of the head and uh, you're okay. But y God forbid you drop two feet. I could have sworn I saw something pop up, like a radio icon. Well, I guess not. Okay. Um, oh, wait a minute. I have an ax. Oh, maybe I could find a tree that needs to be chopped down. Tiptoe across. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just stranded here and I'm gonna die of starvation. That could work too. Aha! Hello there. It's choppy chop chop time. Good thing they left this ax behind. It's in mint condition too. Timber! Wasn't manly enough, I need more gruff. Timber! Too much? I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling my beard grow already. All I need now is like a plaid shirt and I am set. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Someone's sick. Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. The timing is too perfect. Oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Really? Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Oh man, that got dramatic fast. Okay. Well, now I'm a bit apprehensive. Look at Earth those Bear legs. Tower, this is Two Forks <laughs> calling you for the oh fiftieth time today. Hmm. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Okay, that's suspicious. She's acting like nothing has been happening. She's not worried at all. Maybe she's got a split personality disorder. <laughs> Who knows? By day, she's the lovely Delilah that wants to chat up a storm about anything and everything and won't shut up. By night, she's a savage running around, kidnapping hikers, smashing up his tower, and doing all sorts of unspeakable deeds. Who knows? For now, though, I think I'm gonna have to leave it off there. If you guys are still enjoying the, the series, man, I need some sleep. Smash the like button. Leave a comment down below if you want me to play more of these types of games because I think these types of games can be fun. A nice refreshing break from playing big AAA titles. So if you want more, smash the like button. And until the next video, peace out.